Okay, you're on. All right. So if we could rise for the Pledge of Allegiance for this town, Monroe Town Board special meeting on January 25th, 2022. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, of America. And to the republic, to the republic, for which it stands, stand, stand, one nation, one nation under, God, under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with justice, liberty and justice, and justice for all. Okay, so uh, I, I need a motion to open up the town board special meeting of January twenty fifth, twenty twenty two. I'll make that motion. Bring them to second. Call the question. Bingham I. Cardone, Cardone I. Gangrello I. Okay. So, uh, Brian will put up the resolution. So, this is a resolution for our hazard mitigation plan, which we received notice yesterday. We spoke about it in 2016. We never passed a resolution on it. I'm sorry. 2000 in April of 2018, we spoke on it. We never passed a resolution. Right. And when we're applying for these uh, grants, these brick grants and whatnot, they would like you to have this in place. So we're going to send them, and it had to be sent by the 27th. So we're going to send them a copy of the resolution, along with the fact that we did speak about it in 18. And uh, hopefully that suffices. Uh, they, they think it will. So uh, I'll read it, you know, real quick. Uh, there's a resolution to authorize the exception and adoption of the multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update for Orange County, New York. Uh, the whereas is, uh, whereas the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, with assistance from Barton and Loju Dice DPC, has gathered information and prepared the multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update for Orange County, New York. And whereas the multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update for Orange County, New York has been prepared in accordance with the Disaster Mitigation Act of 2000 and Title 44 of the Federal Regulations, CFR Part 201. And whereas Title CFR 44, Chapter 1, Part 201.6, Letter C, Number 5, requires each local government participating in the preparation of a multi jurisdictional mitigation plan or plan update to accept and adopt such plan. And whereas the town of Monroe has reviewed the 2018 multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update for Orange County has found the document to be acceptable. And as a local unit of government has afforded the citizens an opportunity to comment and provide input regarding the plan update and actions included in the plan. Whereas the town of Monroe will consider the multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update for Orange County during the implementation and update of local planning mechanisms and will incorporate the hazard assessment data, hazard vulnerabilities and mitigation actions in these mechanisms where applicable. Now, therefore, be it resolved that, that the town of Monroe as a participating jurisdiction adopts the multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update for Orange County, New York, dated April 2018. So uh, let's uh, call for a, uh, a vote on that. Supervisor, for the record, I'll I believe- the uh, motion. I believe Councilwoman Hewell's on. Oh. That's correct. All right. Hi, Dory. Okay, so Hi, I'll, make, I'll make the motion for that resolution. Councilwoman Bingham seconded. Call the question. Bingham, I. Bull, I. Pardon, I. Gekro, I. Okay. All right. Mike's not on, Dory. So, uh, okay. So that's that's essentially it. Uh, and I'll give you all an update. I was explaining to Mary. So uh, this is just for discussion. Uh, the the loop up on Water District Number Eight was repaired. Uh, there was transite pipe that essentially had cracked. Uh, there was a hole the size of uh, your computer screens uh, in the pipe. Wow. Yeah, it was it was pretty big. I'll send you all photos of it, uh, of the actual pipe. And that, that pipe was out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, 
And the guys that were out there Sunday night, because I was out there in the afternoon, they had they didn't find the leak till Monday morning because they didn't know where the pipe was. Uh, the only one I think that knew that that pipe was a loop out there was Billy Brown. So it's been yeah. fixed. Tam was out there. Tam uh, took care of the, they put in about uh, 50 feet of pipe. Uh, and it's, uh, they had to put a berm over it because the pipe was actually exposed. Part of it was underneath the stream bed, but you could see it. And then the other part was, uh, above ground. So. And with all the cold weather, it probably froze and made the break even bigger. Yeah. I, I would even say Mary that with the, the weird part was the tank at 8.30 in the morning was at 41 feet, and at 2 o'clock, it was empty. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, so a lot of water, a lot of water went out. Yeah. But it sounds like it went out quickly. Yeah. Right? That's so it doesn't sound like it was a fast rushing leak this entire time. Something must well, have happened to blow out that hole. Well, I mean, let's put it to this way. It took four hours, uh, four, four and a half hours. No, it took about four and a half hours for the tank to empty. So that was, right. that's what, that, that's because the hole was so big. So, right, right. So anyway, so everything's back in order. Well, I'm glad we found it and I'm glad we fixed it. And yeah. uh, big thank you to Tam. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So, all right. If there's no other business, uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Bingham I'll second. So, woman Bingham seconded. Call the question. Bingham, I. Pool, I. Ardon, I. Jack Rowe, I. Okay. Uh, that if uh, if everybody wants to call Councilman McGinn and wake him up after we get off, you're all welcome to. <laughs> Tony, Tony, he just texted us. He, he just, just texted in the group. All right, everyone have a great day. I'll see you around. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a good day. Have a good day.